So welcome back. It's a late night. Just got done with work. Uh, sometimes it stretches over longer than when I would like to have it stretch over. But how do I know I lo I'm loved? Because my wife shares the passion that I do. Currently she doesn't partake in any type of these beverages here, but she surprised me with a craft your own pack from one of the local grocery store beer sections. Some of the ones I have not had in here yet. Some of them I have. Um, she knows my taste because she picked one that I already did this week. She selected Goose Island. It's not bad. Another favorite, Stone. Haven't had this one yet. Yards. Founders. I had mentioned that I had this before, but I have not done an actual review on it. And Magic Hat. I have not had their number nine or a lot of their beer. So, which one will I pick? Stay tuned. Lucky surprise, I decided to go with Stone Brewing Company's Tangerine Express IPA. Let's give a little bit more focus on this right there. Right there. Little devilish on there. Yeah, some people would disagree with me on that and the whole appeal on that. But honestly, the thing that appeals to me is that tangerine. And also right down in here in the description, it states an Indian pale ale with tangerine and pineapple. So what do we have so far? We have an Indian pale ale with tangerine and pineapple, 6.7 alcohol by volume. It's a 12 ounce bottle. Brewed and bottled by the Stone Brewing Co Company in Escondido, California and Richmond, Virginia. It's made in the US, obviously with those two locations. They have a nice description here on the back. Imagine the tropical haze of a lazy afternoon into the evening. Your official duties for the day have been to maybe take a hike to a secluded waterfall, perhaps grill something, definitely chill with plenty of sand between your toes and crack phenomenal beer to complete the experience. Check, check, check again. Piffed, check. Welcome to our vacation transportation express. This ain't no just add juice approach. This one is for adults. We use bountiful whole tangerine puree, which brings pithy and crisp bitterness to the citrus flavor. So we're seeing that they're enhancing this hoppy flavor. In addition to this complexities of tangerine, the likes of which you can only get by using whole fruit, we judiciously employ just a hint of whole pineapple for a back note. you likely not even to pick it out of the mix if we didn't tell you it was there. We're not looking for a sweet concoction to appease the I want my beer to taste like fruit crowd. This is Stone. We like our IPAs to taste like IPAs, big, bold, and not for kids. So go visit stonebrewing.com. As always, we're going to go to their website. And it's stonebrewing.com slash tangerine express. You can follow them on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest. Hashtag tangerine express. It's a part of the Brewers Association. It's an independent craft, and it's certified by them. Let's drink this fresh. And I thank you to my wife for looking out for me. It's a little bit late. It's 1231 Saturday morning. Got to be up soon. So here's what we have. Okay. As always, we're going to do that pour. Just look at that. Oh yeah, there we go. Citrus flavor and aroma from the hops. Now that I know that the pineapple's in there, it kind of is hinting itself at that, but I think they're right. We won't own that one. Let us go to the actual website. So what we have here, we have an Indian Pale Ale at 6.7 alcohol by volume, 75 IBUs. The description is pretty much the same. Uh, you can see the variety of their packaging off to the right there. You can also see the quite uh, information. The release date was January 30th of 2017. Packaged types is 22 ounce bottles, 12 ounce six pack cans, 12 ounce pack bottles, draft, and it's available nationwide. The flavor profile citrusy, fruity, hoppy. 
when to enjoy drink fresh drink it when it's fresh featured hop citrus centennial sterling azaka and mosaic special ingredients tangerine and pineapple puree you can go down and you can also see that they have merchandise here as well tangerine express nut butter and also stone tangerine express tea you can click on those links and get those uh, merchandise if you so please nationwide distribution is throughout the whole entire country just seeing that you can actually click on the different uh, states uh, they also have a nice video here that you could watch on YouTube if you so please Like always, you can follow them on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And then they have some additional information here at the below with the different icons that you can also do. You can also see there's a snapshot icon right there. So we visited a website. We gave the uh, appeal rating as a 7.5 out of 10. The website was a little bit jumpy to me. It might be just my connection so just go there and visit I, again I'm not sponsored by Stone Brewing Company uh, if they want to sponsor me go ahead and send me a message um, but it smells so citrusy it smells like really good beer as an IPA the hops are there and that's what I like the bitterness is there 75 IBUs not bad um, tangerine it does give a little bit of hint of flavor it's not a fully filtered beer you can see that puree in the actual brew if you go a little bit closer um, carbonation is good flavor all overall um, yeah it's an enjoyable beer um, for its flavor I'm gonna give it an 8.5 out of 10 and we're gonna round this up um, to the overall score from uh, 7.5 and 8.5 together ah. We're going to give it an 8 out of 10 for our overall uh, rating for this beer. I thank you again. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening, okay? And remember to drink responsibly. Please subscribe to this channel. This guy's lonely and plays with broken dinosaur toys. Subscribe button will be at my head. Another subscribe button will be at this way. A video that YouTube likes will be down here. video that it was recently uploaded will be done here. Good night.